Yolich is a supper club dining experience in Glenelg. I do the front of the house, Verity does uh, the cooking, and um, different people from um, different places all come together and share a meal. Well, to me, the, the, the food of the Highlands is the stuff that grows here, really. I can get food that's, that's here in the wild. I can go out and collect mushrooms, I can get sorrel, I can get seaweeds. Normally what happens is people arrive, they have a little drink, um, the record player's going, the fire's going. It's always an absolute pleasure just to see people's faces enjoying the environment that, that Jenny's put together for them. It all kind of falls together and we take such personal care and attention to each person, which is the same um, thing that we do with our produce. Living up here, it can be really difficult to source things in a consistent manner. We've got three amazing growers in Glenelg. We've also got fishermen that bring in scallops and langoustine. Yes. What's interesting about the Highlands is in the last few years, it hasn't had that much of a dairy presence and, and now it's getting one with some cheesemongers opening up in the Highlands, which is extremely exciting. So we have a cold, wet, miserable climate in the north of Scotland and cheddar is traditionally what was always made throughout the Highlands and Islands. But the peninsula is incredibly fertile and especially for malting barley for the distillers. The best raw materials start with, with the, the people who farm the land of Easteros. We used to put wild garlic leaf into, uh, into crowdy, and people go, oh, garlic, oh, no, 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 I can't eat garlic. But everybody's travelled and experienced new tastes and flavours now, and so now they want these new continental flavours, and that's what we're involved in, is making mould-ripened, smelly little cheeses. You know, that people in Tain support us. I think there's something for everybody. It's, it's a special place. We're trying to put Uist on the whiskey map. That's really what our vision is and our mission here. Uh, we're trying to use a ancient grain uh, for use in our whiskey production, a bare barley, which grows locally. You know, going from kind of grain to glass, the full process, getting that done on the island. You know, Uist has got two traditional um, occupations. One was fishing and one was crofting. Weekends, I'd go out on my dad's fishing boat and we'd fish for uh, prawn, langoustines and lobster. I'm from a croft, a crofting background, so I grew up um, on a kind of sheep lamb farm, so eating um, really kind of wild, delicious food. Yeah, and there's a lovely kind of trading, bartering kind of relationship that people have here as well. People in the community bring us botanicals and we reward them with gin. It's quite a nice uh, relationship where people kind of share and look after each other. And um, certainly grew up giving me an appreciation of the kind of abundance of great food that we've got here in the Outer Hebrides. You know, it's a lovely thing to be able to share with people. I think hospitality is a big thing in the islands. Um, when people have travelled this far to come and visit, everybody makes a good um, effort to be hospitable and kind of share what we have here with them. I think uh, the food here is a big part of the culture and spending time with people over food. You know, trying some home bacon with a cup of coffee What's here, sharing some stories with a friend. Uh, I think all that really plays into and builds a part of the experience out in the Outer Hebrides. Sort of what we try to create with our supper clubs is sort of a shelter from the storm because there is often a storm. I think people want to go in somewhere where they can connect and warm up and I think typically the food in the Highland is meant to probably warm you up. People are taking, taking a lot more care over the food and produce that's happening here in the Highlands and we're not, we're not buying food in from elsewhere, we're actually growing here which is really exciting. We're really passionate about what we do um, and it's nice to feel like you're a part of sort of this movement that's happening um, where people are just really caring about food which I think is quite special. It's the most rewarding thing on the planet. It's, it's why we do what we do. We absolutely love it.